because they, they do attack in masses. They're a lot more irritable than the European bees. They, they have less tolerance for, for noise, for, for exhaust from lawnmowers, gas-powered weed eaters and stuff. So uh, when they attack, they attack in greater numbers than the European bees do. A lot of the fatalities and, and, and accidents come from, from homeowners trying to treat the problems themselves. And it could also cause, you know, the bees to, to become airborne and potentially, you know, sting neighbors and, and, and kill, you know, neighborhood pets. It is most definitely better to, to call a professional rather than, than attempt to do something like this yourself. It's, you know, a, you know the, the, the bill that it costs to, to remove the bees has a lot better than paying a hospital bill or funeral costs. Was a customer reported bees entering the house through a, an exhaust vent in the attic space. So when I arrived, I I realized that the colony hadn't yet moved in to the to the void yet. So well, I killed what bees were inside the cavity with with a with an aerosol pesticide that I power dusted inside there with a residual pesticide. And after that, I put a masking agent on there. So so any bees that were coming back to, to check on their the the other the rest of the colony that was scouting this won't be able won't be able to smell the the, the pheromones that the other bees had left. The first thing I, I do is I light a smoker and, and the reason I light a smoker is because uh, it keeps the bees calm. Bees communicate through pheromones, through smells. So when the smoke is in the air, all they smell is the smoke rather than the, the pheromones. So they, they can't send out an attack pheromone to, to the rest of the colony. And then after I have them calm with the bees is when I'll, I'll, uh, I'll normally I'll, I will drill in to the structure to find out where exactly the nest is and how big the nest is. And after that's done, I'll inject a, an aerosol pesticide in there to kill the colony. And then uh, if, if the customer chooses, we'll remove the honeycomb at that point by you know cutting away the walls or the floor or the roof wherever the, the nest was at and then uh, then after the honeycomb has been removed we'll we'll treat the area inside you know put a soak up to, to soak up any liquid honey and uh, we'll pack the cavity full so there's no room for a new colony to move in there it's important to remove the comb because one, with the colony not in there, the honeycomb will melt down and it will cause structural damage. It could cause the roof to collapse or, or walls to cave in. And uh, number two is, is it will attract other colonies. Uh, colonies in the area will be able to smell that. Well, it's important to jump on it fast is, well, number one, it, it'll cause there, less damage occurs the earlier you catch it. And um, then they don't have time to establish themselves. Bees attack because they, they feel like they need to protect the nest, so the earlier you catch it, the, the less likely that there's an established nest.